Welcome back to White Knight. So I've just arrived in the cellar here. I believe I've already explored this place down here, but let's continue on over, follow the weird ectoplasmic droppings on the ground, left by Selena, I think. AKA her ghost blood. Let's go see where they go. Does this work? Oh, right, it's for that. this water plus electricity equals fire seems to be what those like warning things are saying I mean where is this though is this like a drawing on a wall I guess so here was the monster fed by these those pipes This wire diagram was obviously linked to the electrical panel. Someone had left a note regarding the electrical panel. Can I read it? I guess it's partially cut off by the light. Hmm. The stairs I used to come here. Val was probably controlling the water input. Seemed to link the boiler to the rest of the mansion. Okay, seems to be a fairly involved puzzle involving lots of different places in the mansion and a bunch of different valves and electrical panels and whatnot. This should be fun. Water inlet probably supplying the whole mansion. Hmm. Okay, well, I can't do anything with that at the moment. I kind of need to understand my environment more before I go doing that, because at the moment I only have access, that I know of, to the one valve. Never mind, there's apparently another one here. Two valves. Turn valve to receive bacon. This valve is probably controlling the water input. Mm hmm. So the other one, the one back here, was the one that's controlling access to the the water to the boiler, right? Seem linked to the rest of the mansion. Child's drawings! <laughs> Lovely. I had a terrible premonition about Selena. I was running out of time. Oh, there's a spirit there. And I'm guessing the light does not work. Or maybe I can't even get to the light. Flip things! Alright, so it's turning on two of them. Bad thing, good thing? I think that was a good thing. Yeah, I think so. Have I turn one of these off? I'm sure it turns off too. Okay, guess I'm good. I did something somewhere. There's a freaking hand on the ground. 
All this blood. It was the blood of the moon. It was impossible. What do you mean the blood of the moon? Isn't it Selena's blood? Just reach over to that light and pull the string. There we go. Are you guarding something? Or just here to annoy me? I think she was just there to annoy me. Running out of matches. Victim's note number nine. Andrea, I'm leaving the maternity and you're still asleep. I know the delivery was exhausting and I don't want to wake you up. You told me you had no place to go with your baby. I have talked with my husband and we agreed to share our house with both of you. We believe you deserve it. It's not a big place, but having two babies in our house will make up for it. And I think even the three of us will barely be enough to take care and spoil our little angels. We are waiting for you at home. 38 Ocean Road. Look for the Woolworth. Don't hesitate. Come. Oh my god. All the victims had high heels. He was very particular about who he picked. Someone, presumably William, took it out on that desk. Black hair, high heels. Matches? Also a spirit. Ooh, 15 matches. Excellent. Alright, that should tide me over for a while. So, I think this is the thing I activated by messing with the stuff back there. Yeah, pretty sure this is it. No need to put my fingers in there. The box was definitely powered. The indicators match the parts I was activating. Uh-huh. Damn boiler. I had to calm down. I just missed one step. Pressure level in this tube was at the minimum. No pressure. Okay. So I need to turn the water on. That would help. But the power seems kind of messed up. I mean, it's sparking. That can't be a good thing, right? Oh, I think it needs some fuel. Boiler was cold to dead. Didn't care much about heating. Victim's note number 10. Beth, here are the instructions we discussed. Go to the rectory, 15 Tyler Road, at 9 p.m. Ask to see Minister Kent. He will direct you to your room for the night. The next morning, you should begin organizing the collection of food supplies and clothing, and then distribute it to the poor. The distribution will take place at several locations of Black Lake and Crescent Bay. Ask Minister Kent to confirm them. Do take some time to chat with the unfortunate poor devils. You know so well how to do it. I was told that on top of all the hardships they have to endure, women have been disappearing in this district for some months. I'm grateful you accepted to take over for me. Your kindness is a testament to your faith. Maybe we can do something to help making this... Something to help making... Wait, maybe we can do something to help making this century better after... That is, that is not proper English. That's why I couldn't read it properly. We can do something to help making this century better after all. Joyce Rivera.
There's an axe there. Don't suppose there's a light here anywhere that I could turn on? No. Alright, I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. was broken. My matches were the best option. A bankrupt alcoholic. That was the true William. The rest was just lies. I feel like I'm getting cornered by coming in here. From Selena to William, excerpt 9. I wake up in a bedroom I have never seen before. An old black lady is knitting in a corner. She tells me, Cry and get over it, child. Life goes on. I put my hand on my stomach, and I understand. They took it away. Everything in the world suddenly seems to fall apart around me. I am in Rockford, Illinois, at the end of the tether, with no money. The old lady agrees to let me stay for a few more days. She has been paid for that anyway. She doesn't tell me anything, but I know enough already. I find a job as a waitress in a lowly restaurant out of town. I want to sing, but no sound comes out of my mouth. After a while, though, I have no tears left. I've been crying for too long. I can't cry anymore, neither for me nor for the child I will never have. But one thing is for sure. I will be back in New York. Soon. Now, did she lose the child naturally, or was it done by the... What was his name, Jim? The guy who sounded like drugged her? She didn't say anything about that, but... Hmm. Well, I'm just going to assume that means... On. Well, let's keep turning it. I'm pretty sure you can just infinitely turn it, though. Oh. Okay, you can actually hear it. Where is now running the bells to the basement? Excellent. Things were moving in the dark. Rats. Or maybe worse. Ah. <sighs> It was impossible to break these planks without the proper tool. Okay, so that's my end goal. I need to get in there. But I need... Oh, you know, I probably need the axe. The one I saw next to the Spirit of Margaret. Yeah, I need an axe or a crowbar, and it's most likely that axe. Alright, well, I'm assuming I just need to simply turn on the water everywhere. Just get it running in general, I'm assuming. Um, this is the place with the axe, right? Yeah. So let's get these running.
Alright, making progress. Probably just need to go back here. Or is this already going? Was it a good thing or a bad thing? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Maybe it was already open. I, I don't know which way the gauge is supposed to go because there's no numbers on the face of the gauge. I guess we'll go find out. I don't need no matches. Okay, maybe I do. How are we looking? Yeah, I think they're up. So, are we good? Yeah, we are. Finally, the beast started. I could move on. Oh my god, that thing's bright. Beautiful, beautiful brightness. Yep, there's the axe for cutting the wood. <laughs> the planks would submit. It's a disturbing way to put it. Smell of death down here. I think there's probably the smell of death everywhere in this entire mansion. This music is really cool. scattered in the mansion were haunting me. Each painting had told me of its story. It was like a prompter to an actor whose role is written while he plays it. The mansion wanted a witness for its drama to exist. It was using me to write its story. Right in my brain with an ink of blood and darkness. The base was waiting for something to make it complete. What the heck is supposed to go here? William liked to live among dead things, sacred or not. Is there a save point down here? Ah, yes there is. But what about light? I need light. William's hat. Made in Vesper Enterprises, Boston. Yeah, I guess they were in the textile industry. I suppose they might make hats. And of course, the hat is exactly the same as mine, as far as I can tell, because I'm pretty sure I'm William. Pretty darn sure.
Selena. For you, my angel, my light. I didn't like masks, but that one looks special. Am I going to reconstruct a doll or something? Like using the mannequins in, in the, the base over there? Handcuffs. William liked to incapacitate his praise. Books about lunar rituals. Fertility, initiation, murder. Is there anything I need to highlight? Anything in particular? I suppose the base there. Yeah, because I'm going to have to put stuff on that base right there. So I suppose I should highlight that. Oh, just the mask itself? As I was adjusting the vibrating mask, my hands were shaking. What is this supposed to do? It fit perfectly, it was a piece of the puzzle. Okay, so I guess I'm supposed to put the eye holes, like have the the shadows... Like, ha has something to do with, the, yeah, how the shadows are cast? Oh... I can use it to, like, select parts of the painting, or whatever. Hmm. Can I move it up or down? Just left or right? Alright, so it's gotta be these. Nothing like when click though, so I'm guessing I need to input that, like the password, the code, somewhere. But where? Oh, wait, is this... Oh, <laughs> there we go! But hold on. That only shows me three. There's circle, thing, and then skull. Don't I need more? Let's finish exploring this place first. The massive door would not move no matter the urgency. This is a door? Looks like a freaking wall. And a strange one at that. Okay, well again, there's only three there, so I'm not sure how that's enough, but... Circle, thing, skull. By the way, my stomach is making really, really weird noises, so if you hear any weird gurgling noises, that's what it is. Oh, you don't put them in order, you just press them. Well, that's easy then. Circle. Thing. Skull. I felt a puff of fresh air on my skin. And the smell of blood. lost. My mind didn't belong to me anymore. My memory had been stolen, trapped in the tumult of the accident, which somehow had become the day I was born. 
His birth was the accident. This night of ghosts and death. This night, which was the night of the world. This night had made me the witness of an unending tragedy. It had made me one of the characters in its plot. And I wasn't there by chance. No. It looks like there's three places like this one pick their stories and their characters. They crush them. They drive them mad. And they keep their madness in their walls. This is what fuels them. And keeps them alive. It seems like this is almost like a maze. There's three different ways to go. Um, I think he's just going to keep talking endlessly, so I'm just going to read this first because it seems to pause his monologue. From Selena to William, excerpt 10. I have money in New York, and not in a bank, had a freelancing banker. Who can trust the banks after the crash? He is a worthy man who has lost a lot himself when Wall Street collapsed. He seems happy to see me come back. I take all my money back after paying him his fees, and I go to Harlem. I have personal belongings to collect. I'd given my banker one of the keys to the flat. I am so scared. My heart is beating so fast. But Jim isn't there. The place is full of ghosts I try to avoid seeing. November is here at last. It's cold and I seek revenge. People walk fast in the streets, eager to get home. I put a scarf on my hair and wear glasses to avoid being recognized. I also know how to hide my Norwegian accent. I know where I have to go. It's the last place I want to go. One of the disgusting places the modern world is built on. I tried going back in my memories. Remembering a woman, a kid, a job. I had no story, no canvas to remind me of those. In this labyrinth. Why did you do this? I felt lonelier than ever. In <laughs> this is really awkward. I just keep, I just keep interrupting him. From Zelina to William, excerpt eleven. Bumpy Johnson's face doesn't show any expression when I place the money on his desk. He is the little prince of Harlem's mob, Lady Saint Clair's lover and lieutenant. They know who I am because they saw me singing in some clubs, and because they have been keeping an eye on Jim for quite some time. I give them another reason to be mad at him. It's a letter from Jim pledging allegiance to John M. Dunn, a former lieutenant of Lady's arch-nemesis Dutch Schultz. When Bumpy asks me why I'm doing this, I don't think twice. The day Jim killed my child, they told me life was going on. For some, life goes on, Bumpy answers. He gives me a cigarette. Maybe not for Jim. And I smoke for the first time in my life. I decide to buy a bottle of whiskey, to take a train and drink up to Boston. While the countryside passes by in the dark, I want to sing for everything I have lost. But despite I paid blood money, my voice is still like a prisoner in my chest. Something is broken. So I drink. And I am looking for peace in that bottle. In this world, there will always be a green room for people like you, Selena. A dark room in which their light can grow. If they don't die first. This light, which emanated from you. It had probably always been there. It was your voice which attracted people who came to see you sing. It was you. Selena de William, excerpt 12. One morning, I read in the Daily Boston a New York jazz producer is dead. Jim Erziker. He did better in California. You know the rest. I'm hiding here, in Black Lake. These dark suburbs are a good place to wait to atone for your sins or to kill yourself. I'm not alone. All the friends one needs are in a bottle of whiskey. I discover the smoke and mirrors. I go on stage one night, without knowing what would happen. I haven't sung in months. 
I think about my father playing the piano as the first snow is falling, one morning in Oslo, and my voice comes out of the grave, fresh and pure as the first flower of spring. Elliot hires me. And then there was you, your manners, your elegance, your discretion, sharing my thirst, the thirst that takes us to the end of the night. The night, how I learned to love you. Would I have gone and talked to a girl like Selena in the world of the living? Probably not. Her light would have burned me alive. But here, I was a moth. And in her light, I was seeing the beginning and the end of all things. Am I in a cave? I think I'm in a cave at this point. I feel like I can barely see, like, some stalactites or stalagmites. Off to the left in the dark. Okay, buttons once again. <laughs> Opens one third of the way. Hmm. I think maybe I need to go back into the labyrinth and look for clues. Without light, I couldn't see what it was. Wait, where do you need the light? Because there is light here. Over by the, the thing that I'm assuming it's supposed to open. Yeah, I definitely need to turn some sort of light on so I can see out into the rest of the cave, I think. It sounds like there's some sort of like a pulley weight system, based on the noises I'm hearing. Here we go. <laughs> Thank God I found that passageway. Because if I had missed this, I think I'd be completely lost. I can't even go around that thing. Okay. Oh god, I'm in the water. Is there going to be an amnesia water monster? Please no.
burning through a lot of matches here. And that's the last of them. Okay. Wait, I was missing something. I forgot to operate something. I didn't forget anything. I operated everything I found. Wait, did I just do it? I mean, it seems like I was right, actually. I'm obviously trying to recreate the symbol on top of the door. Yeah, is that not the symbol above the door? Oh, it's upside down, isn't it? Alright. Let's flip it around. And then... Now what's wrong with it? No, it looked right how it was before. Yeah, that looks right to me. That's definitely too far down. Maybe there's no noise or anything like that, and it's if it's right, it's right, and you just press the lever. Let's go find out. Okay, there we go. See, I didn't forget anything, game. Asshole. Trying to make me doubt myself. Oh boy. Saving in progress, thank god. Alright, gotta change the sequence. I can't see. Where the fuck am I? I'm dead. Alright. Let's start with a fresh match. Okay, just barely made it. Oh god. That was close, that was really close. And I made it, okay. stabbing her with a blade. But it wasn't over yet. 
Oh no. I was going to save her. It didn't matter where the wolf would hide. I would skin it. You're going to kill William? So you're going to kill yourself then? The bugger which fell down the well? That was an eternity ago. Oh yeah, it's from the beginning of the game. There are matches even in there. <laughs> That's really cool. I like that, like, callback to the beginning of the game. That's cool. Ah. Seems we have to get lunarific. Actually, I have no idea if this has anything to do with the lunar cycle. R but maybe not lunarific, but ritualistic. That rock was William's pillar of madness. But it could help me. Hmm. Wait a minute. Right here. There's a sound, and I also felt a rumble in the controller. What if that means something? No sound. Uh. Okay, I did a thing. Oh! This is lunarific. Got a slice of the moon. But what does that actually accomplish? What am I trying to accomplish? Let's see what's around here. Oh. Okay, wow, there's quite a bit here. Weird stuff on the wall I can barely see, a bunch of plates. Oh, do they stay pressed down? They do. So I'd have to press them in a certain order, or do I just press all of them? Okay, yeah, they have to be done in a certain order. That's what I'm trying to open. Okay, pressure plates. Certain order to unlock the thing. What was the point of doing this? Alright, so each... Each number corresponds to a symbol. Can I move it anymore, or is it... Moonlight mark in the center. Alright, so I completed that. I can't mess with it. So I guess I just need to press these then? One, two, three, four, five. Or eh, 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 iv, and v. Alright, well, let's write that down. Uh, I, 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 I. Some people would say that these are supposed to be numbers, but they're not. They're letters. Iv, v. Alright. One is triangle. Two is stop sign. Three is mun. Four is thing. And five is... Oh, a different kind of triangle. Okay, well I need to adapt to my first one then. First one is not triangle. First one is triangle with an arrow going through it. Okay. Not sure if the order matters, or if I just simply need to press all of them. 
Um, the order probably doesn't matter, I want to say. But just in case it does. So first one is this one, triangle with an arrow going through it. Second one is stop sign. Don't hit it. Just the radius of my light was a little bit further. Stop sign? Stop sign. Next one is Moon. Mun. Which is back here. Then thingy. Then last one is plain triangle. Yes, you don't need to give me hints, I know. Here we go. Yeah! Solved it! No, okay, I didn't actually solve it. <laughs> Fuck! Okay, let's see if this works. Bingo! Alright, so let me see if I can explain what happened. Uh, can I still look at this? Yes. So I'm not exactly sure which one I changed, but basically there are, there are more subtle varieties than I originally thought, because I didn't even look at the others. I just looked at 1 through 5, which is what I needed to press, and I didn't check the others. So, for example, there's the triangle with an arrow going through it on the left side, and then there's the other triangle with, an, like, a hockey stick going through it on the right side. So, subtle varieties. There's three kinds of triangles. Um, there's also this symbol, whatever that is, at the top right. There's that one facing with the circle part facing in, this one with the circle part facing away, and this one with the circle part facing in, but with a dash through it. So, a couple varieties that I kind of mixed up. So I'm not sure exactly which one or ones I changed from how I did it before, but either way, seems to work now. Stairs. New scent started filling the air again. Sea spray. Moist soil. Plants. Soon after, I could hear rain and thunder. She had guided me on the way out. She had saved my life. But as all prisoners know so well, you're not free just because you can see the sky. This was just another setting for the same tragedy. Turn from the grave. What a beautiful place to come out of. Poetic. Well, game's over. Go back to the car. Car's fine. Escape. Everything's good. Would Selena be safer outside? As a conscientious diva, Selena walked to her grand finale. My fear was washed away in disgust. I was about to meet William. 
I'm gonna be very surprised if William is actually a different person, because I'm like 99.99999% sure that he is William. I mean, he just crawled out of his fucking grave. Back where it all started. Wait, so what do I actually do here? I mean, my card still doesn't work, just as it didn't work before. Is there something here on the ground? No, that was a pile of rocks. Do I go back inside the house? I can't imagine I'd want to. Yeah, no matches. It's raining. Can't imagine I do something with the light. I'm confused. What am I supposed to do here? She was on the run and I was with her. We were escaping the night, but the night was still ahead of us and the worst was yet to come. Right, I'm still chasing her. And she is... where? Am I missing something totally obvious? Can I check the mail? Nope. Can't even go back even if I wanted to. Alright, seriously, what the heck am I missing? There's a shoe. So we this here, outside. Uh-huh. I have an axe. Okay. Oh, I used the axe on the trunk? Okay. thing in the world. The only one which could save me. I'm sorry. It was me all along, Selina. The son of a bitch. The sicko. The killer. The wolf. The filth. The bastard. The scum. Oh, you should have let your mother kill you. You should have undone what she did. You knew, and yet you let me have a second chance, Selina. Let me go on till the end.
The memories of what I had done were coming back slowly. Like the tide washing ashore the rotten corpses from a wreck. Selena was lighter than a pillow. The real weight was all those years of filth stored in my memory. Images. The blade I sunk deep into the stomach of my own mother. Those dark-haired women. Those hated clones of Margaret, split from head to toe as a sacrifice to the moon. Their organs displayed carefully, like some child fresco. Selena on the stage of smoke and mirrors. The glass I used to toast with her. The first time we talked. Her tears. The letters in which she told me about losing her kid. How her husband had been murdered. And our kiss. The blade I used to stab her. My father and the father of my mother died from the same madness. The same poison that men injected into the economic system they had created. On October 29th, 1929, millions of casualties, the scent of blood, and for the wolves, the beginning of the hunt. From William to Selena, I have just finished reading your letter, Selena. Never had anyone opened their hearts so fully to me. I remember you asked yourself how it was possible that your voice would match my piano so perfectly. You and me are lost souls, my dove, but you are full of light, whereas I have been crawling down the abyss for far too long. I have told you some things, but not all of them. I didn't tell you about the blood on my hands. If you knew, one can't do anything against this fear. You don't come back from this darkness. It drives you crazy. Sometimes I forget this simple fact. I'm a madman. Your love reminds me of the monster I have always been. Your warmth, your perfume. That's the closest I'll ever be to heaven. You are an incarnation of the moon. Luna. But neither of you was able to save me. That was not meant to be. This country needs wolves as much as it needs game. You will never receive this letter. Tonight you will expect me to love you, and I will kill you. Because I am a shadow, and I can't stand anything but darkness and night. There was a fork in the road back there where I could choose between going to two different sources of light. I think that might be a branch in the storyline. Or do I have to go the other way? I think maybe I do have to go the other way. That or just walk off into the darkness. Awkwardly. No? I think I need to go the other way. which is going to be an awkwardly long walk. My dear, I'm just uh, ruining the pacing of the ending here.
Two hours later. Selena's warmth was pulsing slowly in my arms as the dark spot of my culpability was growing over her stomach. In the sky, the moon was watching me, her son, as I was taking my first steps, holding her daughter in my arms. A resurrection. A second chance. Selena was dying. I could tell from her body, tightly pressed against me. At times, her eyes would open and stare at me. Not a hint of anger or accusation. She could have let go. Let her light pass. Let my mother take me back. But she was protecting me. She was forgiving me. The moon was silently watching us as we made our last push through the night. Soon, dawn would come. The sun would wash away all that ink which had condemned us. Goodbye, Luna. Goodbye, Mother. This night had been too long already. I went as far as I could. Selena, the one who would give me everything life had left her, was fading away, despite my efforts to hold on to her light. night was the world, then this world had no end. This was my America, stranded here, facing the void under the cold glare of the silent moon. She was dying. She was dying for all eternity, and I kept awake to see her take her leave. All right, well, there we go. That is the end of White Knight. I think I want to develop my thoughts a bit before I say too much, so I think I'm going to make a review-type video of some sort, talking about my kind of extended thoughts about this game. But suffice to say, big picture idea, I think this is a flawed gem. It's definitely very rough around the edges and quite awkward in a lot of different ways, but there's a lot I like about it. So yeah, definitely flawed gem. And I'll talk more about that later, in a separate video. So in the meantime, I just want to say I hope you enjoyed watching me play through White Knight, and thank you for watching.